we fished about 10 years ago. I'm going to ask all you guys in our in our presentation of lures how you would go about learning this lake if you've never been there before. How would you go about, this is a unique situation that I think it'd be real interesting for everybody to, to it's the first time that I've ever had to fish something like this to find out about it. And I, I think that everybody would get a little something out of this. Was that a river down there? This is a flatland no, reservoir. Right there, you got this is a creek coming in, a side feeder stream cut. Whoa, look at the land. It's yeah. a flatland reservoir, keep in mind. Here's the boat ramp. You put your boat in, how you gonna fish this? Basic presentation of lures, right? Come out here, you're gonna put 500 on, you're gonna go right down here, two to four feet, right? All the way down the bank, right? Move in and out, in and out, till your lure touches, runs free, in and out the whole way, right? So turn around, you're gonna put 400 on. You're gonna come all the way back, in and out, in and out, till the lure bumps, out till it runs free, in, out, all the way down. 250. 200, you're going to find out what's there, right? Yeah. Right? Sure. What time of year is it, well, first of all? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. <laughs> doesn't I don't matter. know if I'd head toward the dam. So now you got another year. shoreline. Now you got the whole thing's got good water color. It's, it's pretty small to speak of first. If it was 60,000 acres, you could never fish it like we fished it to find the answers. 500, 400, 250. 500. 400, 250, right? That's how you're going to do it, right? Wrong. you got to find the deep water first and river channel. they got to stick with the feet of cut or it's the main channel. This is how you always start. Always start. 500, 400, and a 250. I don't care where it's at. Yeah, I'm saying, but why go all Because you don't know sand? what's in there. you got to find out what's there. Well, if you had a feet of cut, you know it goes to the main channel. It's a flatland reservoir. There could be a pile of rocks could in there. Could be sealed it in. It's a flatland reservoir. Right. It's smaller and, still and, and sealed it in. Reservoir, the, river fish, the feet are cut. Yeah, so it's going to hit the creek. Oh, definitely. Man. Flat yeah, flat yeah, we're just floating. We've got to start the shallow. That's where we've got to start. I'm saying, but why go all the way to the dam instead of working out that bar? You'll find out what this is. Creek we stayed in. I'll give you those answers in a little bit. I'll give you those answers in a little bit. I'll give you those answers in a little bit. I'll give you those answers in a little bit. You've done this. 500, 400, and 250. You catch no fish. You say, the hell with it. You leave. You come back two years later. You put a 500 on, you go down here, 400, and a 250. And a 500, 400, 250 on down. You still don't catch nothing. You go home and say, the hell with it. About five years later, you go a little smarter. Nah. Actually, Somebody comes up and he says, uh, hey, I caught a bunch of fish out of there. And I said, where'd you catch them at? He said, out in the middle. I said, what's there? He said, I don't know. <laughs> Why are you laughing, Lance? <laughs> Still do <laughs> So I says, take me. So we go there and we catch a bunch of fish. But still don't have the answers. Now, how are we going to get the answers to this? To a crossway, though, it's rolling. It's way too a fish tell you what's there. All this is about seven foot. Seven foot. The farther you go towards the dam, the deeper it gets. There's a little 18 foot hole right here. Surrounded by 12, 13, whatever. This is how we found the answers. Seven foot, we put on a 250. We took off across. Keep in mind, this is not a great big place. It's not a 40,000 acre lake. It's uh, probably three quarters of a mile from here to there. And maybe a quarter of a mile across. So you're not talking about a great deal of water. So I say, I'm gonna go out here and I'm gonna fish from yes. this end to this end, from here to here, from here to here, from here to here. Now I'm in nine feet of water. I still can cover that with 250. But I get to about right here, now I'm in 10 feet of water. Now I gotta put 200 on to get down to the bottom. But I still run from here to here. I want to know exactly everything that's there. How do I do that? I get a shoreline sighting right here. And every time I come over here, I move it a little bit. I move it over. And then as I get down here, I pick something else up as a shoreline sighting. 
and I move it over and over. Every pass, I come across, I turn around, I still got the same shoreline sighting. Or I can use something on this if it's better. So what? I don't care. I'm going to troll this whole thing until I find every bit of the answers. You know what the answers were? This point does come out a little bit. Yeah. Here's your answer right here. Deepest water in the area. Nine foot. Six foot. Deepest water in the area. Bingo. They're there. Bunch of fish. It's cool. Deep water is relevant. Ten so. foot. Nine foot. Eight foot. Eight foot. Bingo. It's loaded. Ten foot. Six foot. Eight foot. Bingo. Bunches and bunches of big fish. Is that like the back of Silver John? No. <laughs> this is about the longest area of the river channel that you can follow in the whole stinking place. Yeah. That's still there. Uh, one other spot right about in here. It's very small. Ten foot, eight foot, eight foot. Big, big school, small mound. Northern Pike, large mound. Big school right there. You fix it, honey. Oh, yeah. One, two, three, four. Spots. Hey, we don't we don't this here is so small, as you get up here, the water gets a little bit clearer. It's the clearest water in the lake. We don't even mess with it too much. It's not, there's not much there. Big school of largemouth and smallmouth right there. Bunches of smallmouth there. Big school of largemouth there. Big school of largemouth there. And a whole bunch of fish right there. This is why we did not find the spots. Once we got out here, 10 foot seemed about the deepest water. The fish told us where they why, were. Why go any deeper? We've already fished all the way down. We just couldn't make heads or tails out of it that way. <clears throat> and the fish told us where, where they was. Every one of these spots, the spots is the old river channel. It's all that's left that is not silted in. Buck says the deepest water in the lake is the home of the fish, or the deepest water in the area being fished is the home of the I found this a really, really interesting situation. John, tell them how Buck explained to you how those holes got there in the river channel. Was I was going to do that. I was going to do that. Last fall, we fished uh, the St. Joe River up in Michigan some from Constantine all the way down just about every stretch all the way through Mishawaka, South Bend and into Mishawaka. <laughs> you guys should be fishing it. In every Fun, man. Big, small every situation, wherever the channel makes a bend, you have a hole here, you have a hole here, a hole here, a hole here. Where your channel turns to go across to the other side, basically there are no break lines. Very, very flat in most cases. A few places there's still some break lines. The inside bend will be almost featureless in most cages, cases. So you don't even fool with that. There's your fishing water right here. Your deepest water will be related in some way to your outside bend. It could be your deepest hole could be on this end, it could be at this end, whatever. But one thing that, that we noticed in all the all the situations we fished, let's say this is the bottom right here. There was places depressions. There would be depressions and uh, how can I how can I do this? Let's let's say this is a river channel right here from top view. Let's say we got uh, 11 feet in the channel, or 11 feet in the channel, 11 feet in the channel, and all of a sudden there'll be a little place that was 13 feet, and you'd see it. You see it on your depth finder, just go loop, and then right back up. It wouldn't be as big around as this right here. In every one of those cases, every single case, there'd be a big hang on both sides of the hole. It could be on one side or the other side. It could be on both sides. And what bothered me was 
it didn't bother me, but in every case where there was a washout like that, there'd always be a big hang involved. There was always be there. And it bothered me. I thought, why are those hangs and those holes always together? So, And I knew I'd never live long enough to find the answer. So I wrote about the letter. And he explained it to me like this. He said, have you, have you ever been standing on a beach in the ocean and have the water wash under your feet and then wash the sand out from under your feet and you'd sink? He said he, he stood there on purpose one day and about died. He sunk so deep, but he, he did it on purpose. He said that's why shipwrecks sink, because the current washes the sand out from underneath them and eventually they sink. But I had to have the answer to why the, those snags were always associated with those holes. And I, I just found it an interesting situation. And all, all, like I said, one that I thought I knew I would never live long enough to find the answers. So I, I went straight to the, to the source. We could have took you to the ocean and drowned again. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just this, no matter how long you fish, you never stop learning. You just never, ever can get to a point where you can't get better. That's what Ted was saying earlier. But I just thought this was an interesting situation that you guys would like to hear about. Especially that reservoir where we went from side to side. How many times have you ever had to do that? You know, but if, if it was a 40,000 acre lake, there's no way you could, you know, I'd, I'd be 80 years old by the time I found the answers. Some of them dish fan lakes in Florida you could fish like that. <laughs> well, those guys have to cover it all because uh, you never know where a slot might be or a little deeper hole. Yeah, that's right. Be, you know? Yeah. Yeah. See, I got in there anyways, didn't I, Chase? Very good. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>